I have a number of certifications that I've amassed over the years. As I've stated in previous videos, back when I transitioned into the field of training and development some 25 years ago, one needed a degree. In fact, it was very difficult to transition to a new career without experience. An advanced degree opened the door in lieu of not having requisite experience. At the time that I got into the field, it was very hard and time consuming to work your way into training and development. So I went back to school and obtained a master in education specializing in adult learning and development. That degree enabled me to get my first job as a training specialist. Over the years, I have obtained additional certifications, advanced degrees, and a certificate to broaden my skill set and career path. To this end, I am a Longevin Learning Services Certified Instructional Designer Developer, a Development Dimensions International, or DDI, Certified Facilitator, a ProSci Certified Change Practitioner, and I have a certificate from the Weatherhead School of Management at Case Western Reserve University in Project Leadership, and a second master degree in public administration. When I began my career, advanced degrees were the only way that you can transition to a new career. Today, transitioning into training and development and other fields has been made easier as there are now various ways to get the education and or experiences needed to make you a viable candidate. Two popular ways are through obtaining an advanced degree, such as a master's degree and enrolling in certificate programs. While a master's degree leads to an advanced credential in a field of study, professional certificates demonstrate the completion of courses relating to a specific occupation. The Chronicle of Higher Education reports that certificates are the fastest growing form of post-secondary credentials in the country. As certificates grow in popularity, Higher education institutions offer a variety of online full certificate and micro certificate programs in high demand fields. If you're new here, my name is Jennifer Mitchell Early. I help individuals and teams achieve organizational and personal success by providing customized training, resources, tips and tools to help you pursue purpose and accomplish your goals. If you're looking to grow and evolve personally and professionally, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload new content. Today, we're talking about the difference between certificates, certifications, and advanced degrees. Many people are confused about the difference between certifications, certificates, and advanced degrees. So let's start by defining the difference between them. Certifications are credentials that demonstrate a person's competence or skill in a specific field or profession. They are usually awarded by professional associations or organizations after passing an exam or completing a training program. Certifications are often required or preferred for certain jobs or career advancement. Examples of certifications are Certified Professional and Training Management or CPTM, Certified Public Accountant or CPA, Project Management Professional, PMP, and Certified Nursing Assistant, CNA. Certificates are academic awards that recognize the completion of a course or program of study in a specific subject or area. They are usually offered by colleges, universities, or other educational institutions. Certificates are not equivalent to degrees, but they can be used to enhance one's knowledge or skills in a particular field. Examples of certificates are certificate in adult learning, certificate in accounting, certificate in graphic design, and certificate in teaching English as a second language, or TESOL, TESOL. Advanced degrees are academic degrees that require more education and research than a bachelor's degree. They are usually awarded by universities or graduate schools after completing a rigorous program of coursework and thesis or dissertation. Advanced degrees are the highest level of academic achievement and can open up many opportunities for career advancement or further study. Examples of advanced degrees are Master of Education, MED, Master of Business Administration, MBA, 
Doctor of Philosophy, PhD, and Doctor of Medicine, MD. According to Get Educated, America's first free online counseling center for adult students, a master's is the first level of graduate study. This formal course of study stacks onto a bachelor's degree to gain a more academic and professional understanding of a specific topic. Some master's degrees concentrate on theory and research, while others offer subspecialties relating to a specific field. For example, students with an undergraduate degree in computer science can earn a master's in computer science programs for greater specialization in their job. Many master's degree programs include internships, practicum courses, and hands-on learning that simulate real-world situations. Box reports that for a 43% increase in the number of people earning a master's degree since 2002. While a certificate program offers courses in a concentrated area for practical work application, unlike a master's degree, they do not include basic core classes for more academic development. Certificates are designed for the workforce. As such, they supplement existing skills for professional growth that can lead to advancement and new career roles. Depending on credit requirements, most are earnable in less than a year. Many do not require previous education or testing before admission, so students can hold an associate or no degree at all to attend them. A certificate program is not a professional certification or license. However, some offer preparation for professional licensing and continuing education credits applicable towards a degree. There are also significant differences regarding the time that it takes to complete an advanced degree, certificate, and or certification. Master's degrees typically require a two-year full-time commitment with classes completed online or through a hybrid of attending some courses on campus. These graduate programs require 12 to 18 hour courses and often include a research or internship component. For example, as a registered dietitian, credential requires completion of internship before application. A dietetic master of science often combines a dietetic internship program as a part of the curriculum. As certificate and certifications can be completed 100% online and offer the flexibility to complete courses asynchronously around busy schedules. Most certificates include four courses or 14 to 16 credit hours that require a part-time commitment of six to eight hours over a year or less. So completion of a certificate program is faster than a master's degree. Certifications can be completed even faster within days depending on the program. As a result, the advanced degrees, certificates, and certifications will vary in cost as well. The average annual cost of tuition and fees for a graduate degree program is almost $30,000 at public colleges and universities and nearly $40,000 at private schools. Variables affecting costs include in-state or out-of-state status of the students, online coursework, and degree subject. Students can obtain scholarships and grants to cover graduate degree costs as well as federal loans. With fewer courses, certificate programs cost around $1,400 to $5,000, depending on topic, duration, and institution. Costs do increase if students stack different certificate programs. Unlike degree programs, the course cost remains the same if the student is a state resident or not. And there are typically no academic prerequisites, application fees, or textbook requirements that add to costs. While scholarships are not offered with certificate programs, those approved by the U.S. Department of Education qualify for federal student aid. Certification costs are also within this range, um, so it all just varies. As you can see, the difference between certification, certificate, and degree programs typically involves the time and cost to earn them. They also differ in the number of courses you must take and the amount of knowledge you gain. Degrees typically provide individuals with a greater depth of knowledge than certificates. Certificate programs usually focus on teaching students specific and practical skills related to that career field, and certificates provide a greater depth of knowledge 
than certifications. For example, someone in a radiologic technician certification program, for instance, is only going to learn about diagnostic imaging. Degrees include more courses than certificates, and certificates generally include more courses than certifications. Now that we've identified the differences between them, how will you choose which one to pursue? We'll use me as an example. Let's pretend that I'm just getting into training and development. When choosing, this is what I would consider. Career goals. Where do I envision my career in five or 10 years? As a training coordinator, corporate strategist, L&D consultant, different learning and development certification courses cater to varied career aspirations. Mapping out career goals will sharpen your focus and help you find programs that align. Which will you need for the field that you want to work in? If you are passionate about styling hair or skilled at fixing HVAC systems, you can get a job faster and with less expense by earning your certificate in that field than by applying for a degree. You may even get by with a certificate or certification in training and development, especially if you have no previous experience and are willing to work your way up. However, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, teacher and the like, you will need to earn one or more degrees to get hired. How quickly I need to earn my credentials. If you simply need to learn the practical skills necessary for a certain job and want to learn them quickly, you might choose to earn a certificate. If you have several years to dedicate to your education, you might pursue a degree. What curriculum and content can I expect? Research and do a deep dive into the content of the learning and development certifications on your radar and ensure they incorporate the latest trends, methodologies, tools, and approaches. And that's for any industry. What's the organization's reputation and accreditation? Consider certifications for professional development that are recognized and accredited by notable L&D organizations or organizations in your field. A globally recognized certif certificate not only enhances your resume, but is more likely to ensure a quality education. What's my need for flexibility and mode of delivery? In today's world, flexibility is a must. Determine if you need a learning and development certification that offers online, hybrid, or on-demand modules. And again, this applies to any industry. Will I be able to balance work and school? If you're currently working full-time but want to earn a credential to improve your job opportunities and earning potential, you might choose a certificate. You can continue working your current position as a customer service representative, banking specialist, or whatever, while earning your training certificate from a local college during the evenings or weekends. Consider cost and return on investment. You do this by comparing the cost of obtaining a certificate, certification, or advanced degree. You're gonna consider factors like duration, resources provided, networking opportunities, and potential salary increases, post certificate, certification, and degree, and see if it's worth it. Look for testimonials, dive into reviews and testimonials. Do people have good things to say about this program, school or professional association? Opt for continuous support. This is major. Opt for programs that don't just hand you a certificate, certification or degree and wave bye bye. The best programs, associations and schools will provide continuous resources, updates about the field and opportunities for further learning. They'll also have an active and engaged network that can open doors to networking opportunities, mentorship and job prospects. Now that you know the difference between certificates, certifications and advanced degrees, which one do you think is most valuable to have in today's job market or in the field in which you'd like to advance? Let me know below in the comments. If you found this video valuable, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button and share it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.